Alright, welcome back everyone. Um, as you can see, I have killed the channeler. He is dead. Finally. Finally. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's... It was not a pretty sight, me trying to kill him. Uh, this whole no shield thing's going good, as, as I thought it would. Um, it's actually, like, as frustrating as I might sound, I'm actually having a lot of fun. Like, challenging games are definitely a draw for me. Like, I really like these challenging games like this and exploration games and stuff like that. And so, I mean, it's, it's as frustrating as it gets, and it gets really frustrating. It's still fun. And those walls are my bane of his uh, existence. I speak real good. Real good. Um, but, uh, what I'm doing right now is going up the to the bonfire, which... No! God dang it. Sometimes the camera is wonky and just doesn't do what you want it to do. Or it could be user error. User error. Which is a complete and utter possibility. <laughs> so, bonfire. Awesome. Now, we're gonna level up. And... Huh. Endurance. Let's see what... How much damage do I get from Dex? I'm gonna need eventually 25 Dex anyway. But, um... We'll go ahead and get my vid up to 20. Give me a little extra survivability. I'll get my um, endurance up to 20 next. Drop something. Nope. But uh, for right now, we're going to go ahead and fight the Gaping Dragon. And since I went the back way, I didn't have to go all the way through the depths. Uh, do I want? No. I really don't. There's a ring called the Ring of the Evil Eye in the depths that you can get. And what it does is, after you kill an enemy, it gives you a little bit of health. So if you're killing quite a bit of, of enemies, uh, it, it's kind of a way of sustain, because the other ways are miracles, which are the healing spells, or just more of the holy-ish spells, I guess you could say, and Estus Flasks. But other than that, there's not really much in the way of sustain for Dark Souls. There is a weapon that gives you health back per hit, but it's a heavy sword. And since it only gives a certain number and not a percentage of the damage dealt, <clears throat> it's not as amazing as you might think. Alright. This is the Gaping Dragon. This guy shouldn't be too hard. I'm not going to say isn't too hard, because I've died to him before. <laughs> and with the way things are going right now, I... it's a good possibility that I could die to him. His weak spot is his head. So... And then you just sidestep around him. Now, dragon bosses... If you cut off their tail, we'll give a weapon. This guy just happens to give the Black King's Great Axe, or the Dragon King's Great Axe, I think is what it's called. He's got all those teeth moving around. And he just has a enormous health pool. He's not too hard. It's just his health pool is enormous, as I just said. And you can tell when he's actually going to do the charge because he does the little uh, head bob thing. So... This is not as easy as it is without... And so his... he has a lot of, uh... tell before every attack, so he's, he's really easy to dodge. 
However, that being the case, and that being said, he still hits really hard. And he's gonna do the charge. No, 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 no. I didn't get any hits, really. Oh my. So I'm just doing really good this time. Doing really well for Grammy Nazis. Um, when he does that, he's jumping to the location where you previously were. So as long as you move, it should not hit you. However, that being said, it's got a long wind up time. Let's go ahead and try and get this stupid tail. Okay. <laughs> I can't hit the tail! Spears are just a continually worse idea. But, I'm gonna do it anyway. You can't run backwards, the best you can do is like roll or just break block and run. Wow, I got hit by that? That's weird. Oh, when he does that, he's gonna puke. So you need to get back pretty far. That should be far enough. You can usually tell where their weak spot is because it makes a different sound when you hit it. Okay, tail. 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 Come on, hit the damn tail! I, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to break the tail. I mean, I'm not going to use the weapon. It's just, you know, to have it. And just in case any of you guys have not played this game yet and would like to use that weapon, it does require 50 strength to wield, which is a gigantic, enormous amount of strength. Oh yeah, yeah, there it is. Well, now I can safely sit behind him. He is doing the charge. So now I can just like hit his calf or something and not have to worry about him not being in the right position for me to hit. No! No! <laughs> Didn't get to kill him that way. It's okay, though. And... Dead. So, that's the Gaping Dragon. He gives the key to Blight Town. Which, I... Th <sighs> I really don't like Blight Town. Um, however, there's a guy I'm gonna talk to. No, no. Not that way. Stupid, stupid. Um. Crap. I actually want that armor set. Nah, I'm good without it. I'll wait. Um, I was gonna... That's the hard leather armor set. It's the... No, I don't think any class starts with the hard leather. I think the archer starts with just the... padded armor. So I trade for them. Gold pine resin. Bottomless box. We'll grab that. Now, here's the thing. I have 20,000 souls. So, I'm thinking, before I go down to Blight Town or anything like that, and I forgot to start my timer again. Whatever. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe head to Dark Root Basin. Okay, let's go ahead and up. 
Uh, can't guarantee what I'm going to do next, actually. I don't really want to fight Sif right away. Because I want to do that after fighting Artorius. This is the Prepare to Die edition, if you haven't guessed. Um, it's the only one you can get for PC right now. I don't think you can buy the original, which is fine. But, um... Hmm. Yeah. Ow! Ow! Holy crap! What the hell? Those... are evil rats. Holy crap. Not nice at all. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm actually going to cut it here. And... What I'll do is... I'll make my way to... Undead Parish, and then I'll start from there. So, see you guys next time.